Ev was born almost eight years ago. And when she was born, she didn't cry. She didn't move around much. She didn't open her eyes. I kind of knew something was wrong, just being her mom. So I was asking the nurse, like, I think something's wrong. She's not crying. She's not acting like a normal newborn. She wasn't eating. They told me she was shell shocked from the delivery and to let her sleep. The pediatrician came in in the morning and looked at her, opened her eyes with her fingers and noticed she was having seizures. She has HIE and she has cerebral palsy. She has epilepsy. Um, she has a feeding tube. She needs 24 seven care. She has a wheelchair. The nurses and doctor just left her for the night with me in the room, no, like knowing she wasn't acting like a normal newborn. I knew other people who had hard labors and their baby wasn't severely disabled like mine. So I think at that point I knew there was a case and I wanted to talk to a lawyer. Throughout the past six years, I had Bob fighting for me and my daughter. The more he looked into it and the more he found out from the records and hiring um, the board certified doctors and all the specialists and all of them coming to the same conclusion, five years worth of work he was doing on the case. From start to finish, he was there for me and for my daughter, fighting to make sure we had the means necessary to take care of her for the rest of her life. The best thing about uh Shelby's daughter's case was Shelby. Uh, obviously, she's a very strong and independent person, um, courageous to uh, feel that something went wrong, to know kind of, I guess, inside of her that um, it wasn't right. If we couldn't get the case settled, we were gonna try the case because we, we were, and, and that's what we promised her. Ultimately, shortly before trial, after we had defeated all of these challenges, um, the defendants finally came up with uh, a significant amount of money so that it would be easier uh, for um, Shelby's daughter uh, and for Shelby to continue on um, with their lives with some sort of monetary assistance to make that easier because of the significant damages, the, the significant injuries that were caused by what we always believed was medical negligence. The case involving uh, Shelby's daughter is a perfect example of why people need um, attorneys who are experts in a particular area of practice. So this was a medical malpractice case, and I've been handling medical malpractice cases for most of my career, more than 30 years. And I'm convinced that the case resolved because the defense attorneys knew um, that uh, my team and I could handle this case at trial and could win at trial because we have extensive experience trying these types of cases. And it's also the art of trial work. It's being able to be persuasive. It's being able to know the story of Shelby and her daughter and it's uh, being able to tell that story effectively and persuasively to a jury. I'm happy and I'm thankful I had Bob.